Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Cat King. This is Anisha here. Let's talk today about your SNAP exam. I think all of you guys who have been thinking where and how to start your preparation for SNAP, what do I do in the next 15 days, or for that matter, if you know you are starting SNAP preparation today for your attempt in January, then where and how do we get started, right? So this video is going to help you guys to make your that study plan with respect to what and how should you start your daily preparation. To get a head start, I'll explain you guys the paper pattern of SNAP, give you guys a detailed analysis of SNAP 2020, what and how the questions had come in, number of questions of each topic, get your syllabus sorted, get your modules importance sorted and then the study plan we will talk about for a daily basis so please make sure you guys are watching the video right till the end all right so the first thing we need to understand is our paper pattern so this i have repeatedly been saying is the easiest entrance exam out of all the exams that you can possibly be giving it's short 60 minutes 60 questions 60 marks all right Quick update, there is a negative marking attached to it. So you do not go and attempt all 60 questions. You have to be smart enough in your question selection. Okay. The weightage of each module is like we have general English, that's RC, verbal reasoning, verbal ability, that's 15 questions. Analytical and logical reasoning, 25 questions. Quants and data interpretation, data sufficiency, 20 questions. So we can clearly see the most important section is my logical reasoning section, right? So while you're preparing, make sure you're <coughs> studying this because this is the section which gets maximum difference when you compare it to CAT as well, right? Your quants and DI, the syllabus is same, what you study for CAT and MAT and all of these exams. But the difference is the difficulty level. It's much lower as compared to CAT. Verbal, again, it's a combination. I would say the in NMAT verbal syllabus and the SNAP verbal syllabus is absolutely same. You have reading comprehension, vocab-based questions, grammar questions, verbal reasoning. In NMAT, that verbal reasoning is a part of the LR section. Here, it is a part of the verbal section itself. Okay. One piece of uh, advice. Last year, in 60 questions pattern, there was no reading comprehension. But in the SNAP 2021 official mock, yes, we saw reading comprehension. And you should be studying and practicing that because they can easily come in. We could get, you know, squat RCs, which is short passages with one or two questions. Because total pandrai question hai, right? So that's there. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is here, we do not have any sectional time limit. We do not even have a sectional cutoff when it comes to the college selection. So you can attempt the sections in any order you can keep going back and forth start with verbal go to quants come back to verbal anything you want you can use all the tech features of you know marking the questions which is easy medium difficult and come back to the difficult questions later on all of it is feasible so ideally if i were to choose the paper pattern attempting strategy i'll go in the same order start with verbal then lr then quants and di and maximize your attempt. 60 questions may say 54, 55 questions you should easily be able to attempt and target to get a 45 plus correct into it. Okay? That, trust me, it is that easy. So it's not complex. You can do it with so attempt and understand. But for that, you have to make sure you are practicing, you're doing your syllabus well, and you have a good idea about what comes and what does not come as well. Okay? So let's have a quick understanding of first the SNAP paper pattern. Okay, SNAP ka paper pattern is going to help you get a good understanding. A paper pattern we've understood. My uh, understanding now the SNAP 2020 analysis as well also. And then we talk about your preparation strategy on a daily basis. So here is now your SNAP 2020 analysis. Okay, it's gonna it's, it's looking really complex. So I'll make your life a little easy. We will go one by one. We'll go one by one module by module. Okay, this is actual SNAP 2020 analysis basis all the three slots. So when we look at general English, we had grammar based questions, three questions, vocab based 12 questions. Now when I say vocab based 12 questions, it included synonym, antonyms, idioms and phrases, 
fill in the blanks. We had identify the root word, all of those kind of questions. So this verbal section was so easy that I could have done it in 10 minutes, okay? So that is how it was and it was all on the easier side. Some people might have found it medium, but I could say easy to medium for sure, okay? Then we go to our most important section, which is our <coughs> analytical and logical reasoning, okay? 25 questions. Out of the 25 questions, 16 were on the easier side, eight on the medium side, and one a little difficult. So overall, I think it becomes easy paper, right? So if you have 16 easy, then you can easily Bara se chola to attempt kari sakte ho, right? So an overall of 18 questions attempting out of 25 was feasible. Somewhere around 12 to 14 you attempt from the easy category and five questions from the medium category. Leave the difficult one, all right? What were the topics? We saw syllogisms, one question. Statement and course of action, two questions. Statement and conclusion, one. Statement and assumption, one. Analogy based questions drop in math, maybe but they hope one complete the number series maximum questions. Okay, so five questions coming from here. This is very, very important for us the number series, word series, all of these type of questions. Okay, puzzle three questions, clocks and calendar two questions. Sorry, clocks two questions, calendar ka alexi one question, tha. family tree one, sequential output that's input output which comes in like your uh. In math also, two questions. Circular arrangement, two questions. In fact, the family tree blood relations while our two questions came in like a case, like a small puzzle. Even direction sense comes as a small puzzle. So the puzzle-based question was on the lines of direction sense question. We had calendar, one question, coding, one question, physics, one question. So this is overall what you had with respect to the LR section. <coughs> Coming to our quant section, 20 questions, okay? Maximum importance is to the arithmetic topic. You had eight questions from arithmetic and second most important is modern maths, five questions. If you guys have been following my videos from before, I have always told that NMAT and SNAP give importance to arithmetic and modern maths. And modern maths is more important as compared to an algebra, numbers or geometry, which comes in the other exams. So focus on these topics, okay? Arithmetic was pretty doable, seven easy, one medium. Modern maths, one easy, three medium, one difficult. So usually also modern maths tends to become difficult because that's not one of the favorite areas of topics, but do conceptual clarity of uh, concepts for permutation, combination, probability, you should see good number of questions coming in in math, snap for sure, all right? Geometry two, numbers two, Algebra one, DI one, and complete the sequence one. So this year we had seen a surprise of no DI also. One question is like nothing, right? So major surprises were no reading comprehension, no DI and no lengthy puzzles as well. But we should not make that as an assumption ki yaar aisa hi aayega hamare liye. Let's make sure we are studying and doing all our aspects, okay? So quickly giving you a heads up on the syllabus and telling you which are the important topics to focus on it as well is very important, especially people who have to give in the next 15 days, the ones which I'm going to highlight right now, please make a note of those topics. So general English, what's my syllabus? I have phrases and idioms, active voice, passive voice, fill in the blanks, parts of speech, synonym antonyms, prefix or your root word questions, para jumbles, figures of speech, sentence correction in grammar, close passages, <coughs> odd word out, and reading comprehension. So we have to do this, right? So while we are studying, okay. All right, this has come back here. Just a quick second. Yes, so we will make sure idioms and phrases we are doing for sure. Synonyms, antonyms, yes, important. And grammar sentence correction. So you guys are going to refer to your Cat King Bible LOD1 ebooks for synonyms, antonyms, grammar, reading comprehension, and para jumbles based questions. Ye wahan se karne hi karne hai. After that, Norman Lewis vocabulary, revise the words. Cat King 555 word list, revise the word list as well. That's going to be helpful for us. All right. 
and for phrases and idioms check out your nmat maximizer books okay i hope you guys have access to the same if you do not get access to it and let's make sure we're doing well <coughs> okay now talking about di the syllabus is pretty simple you have all the types of graphs which come in so you have to study all the types of graphs because one question last year does not mean ki this year again same is going to happen we should be ready for at least five questions of di which is like two sets right so aap jo lod 1 aur lod 2 dono di ki books hain usko solve kar lijiye it's going to be helpful logical reasoning mein arrangements yes two puzzles to be solved on a daily basis along with that those puzzles you should be practicing one topic of lr every day like that is why for example if you check your cat king schedule i'll show you guys as well you are studying lr 3 days a week right because it's important and we have to maximize our scores there another topic you have to study is your clocks and calendars iske bahut questions aate hain and your series based questions theek hai so three modules for sure which you are studying not to be left in option and obviously verbal reasoning okay now coming to our quant section which a lot of students dread because the syllabus is vast you have not studied for it but quants of snap dekh ke aapko maza aa jayega it's going to be very easy it's going to be a nice paper right so what are the topics under each module number system has your numbers and hcf and lcm arithmetic has your averages mixtures and allegations percentages ratios time and work time speed distance profit and loss simple and compound interest all of these this is the most important module for us all right here time speed distance pad rahe ho to circular races and tracks bhi aa jata hai both and streams bhi aa jata hai agar hum time and work pad rahe hain to pipes and systems also comes in okay then the next important module is our modern maths ka module where we have to study pnc and probability okay so these all things have to be do done for sure rest of the syllabus if you want to have a quick heads up you have algebra with your equations uh, geometry with all the types of questions of 2d 3d figures and special topics include my coordinate geometry set theory pnc and probability so this is what your modern maths and special topics are ye hame padhna hai for sure theek hai so this is about your snap paper pattern your snap 2020 analysis and now i'm going to give you guys a quick summary of the cat king schedule which you guys have to follow for your preparation if you are starting today you can start we have just started with uh, the arithmetic module which is the most important module so quick summary for everybody is every day you are having two hours of class 9 to 11 pm mondays and wednesdays 9 to 10 is verbal tuesday thursday friday is lr monday to friday 10 to 11 is quants we are going to go every week one module and make sure we are cracking it up and revising the concepts we are doing a combination of basics plus actual snap iift questions right along with that you will have your snap saturday sessions at 8 pm with snap toppers so you will have either me or simran ma'am mustafa ma'am taking your uh, simran sir sorry simran ma'am and mustafa sir are taking snap saturdays with me people who have been attending given some feedback about how the snap saturday sessions have been till date for you guys and were you missing us in the last two weeks because of your cat boot camps so we'll be back this saturday with your snap saturdays okay coming back to the schedule this week arithmetic next week numbers uske baad we are focusing on modern maths like i said bahut important hai ye then we move on to our algebra module algebra module ho jaye we'll come to geometry module <coughs> and that's where you finish up your entire syllabus 31st december so even if you start today you can make sure ki basic scratch se bhi start kare hum we can crack the exam 8th jan or 16th jan to for sure theek hai so what you guys are going to be doing in your snap saturdays i've listed that as well also snap saturdays this saturday we are solving actual verbal questions next saturday we are talking about your quants and di then we talk about the snap d day strategy after that we will have a fair idea about how 19th december paper went so on 25th december we are going to dissect the 19th december paper and get our strategy improvised from the same first jan we'll take a quick heads up on january may what should be our mock taking strategy यार आइडियली आई वुड सजेस्ट एटलीस्ट पांच मॉक तो हर किसी को देने ही चाहिए 
kitna bhi time ho nahi ho 5 hours you can easily take out for giving the mocks and take out some 6 hours to analyze these five mocks so that is what you have to do for sure okay last 8th jan is going to be a d day strategy for the 16th jan guys we'll have a comparison of slot 1 and slot 2 to get ourselves sorted right so all of this has to be done with your live lectures along with that you have your module wise concept videos arun sharma solved videos actual snap solved video lessons ebooks your bible ebooks are going to sort your everything lod1 books agar kar li to aur kuch nahi chahiye plus we have 10 snap paper pattern snap 2020 paper pattern based mocks of 60 minutes 60 questions you will get a combination of rc based and non rc based mocks sectional tests and topic wise tests as well to make your preparation sorted all right so all of you guys who really want to make sure you have one good college in your kitty irrespective of how cat went symbiosis should be the easiest bet so make sure you guys are taking in snap for sure all right all the best guys and see you guys on saturday let's make sure we crack snap bye bye take care